You're jamming up traffic. They take it Who too long. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? I'm the guy that's trying to keep you from getting a ticket from a real cop. When I got hit by a car back in 2014, um, I decided to sort of take the law into my own hands and just patrol the streets for myself to help the streets become safer. I don't get any compensation. I don't really see myself as a vigilante. I just see myself as a uh, citizen. I've never seen you with your mask off. <laughs> I call myself the mask maniac. Dress up like that. Because it, it intimidates everybody who thinks they're above the wall. I pull over cars for speeding. Can't be speeding down the street. You got. Are you the police? For double parking. These guys double park? Yeah. This isn't a parking spot. All things that would endanger either pedestrians or cyclists. It's a one way or a one lane street. I'm so sorry. I mean, you can hop in the car and move the car. All I'm asking you is to stop double parking. You're blocking up traffic. This is here. I'm waiting for somebody. I can't give out tickets. I've been assaulted. People have tried to tase me. I'm saying there's a parking space right there. Get the f out of my face. Okay. If you, we come back and he hasn't moved, then what? Let the cops know. I usually lock plates. I'll sit down and talk to the police department when I run into them. I'm having a problem with this car being parked in front of this fire hydrant on this corner and jamming up traffic. I'm giving you a, a pass early before you speed by the cop or before you make that bad turn in front of a cop and you actually get a ticket. I get about four hours of sleep a night. My day starts at about 6 a.m. in the morning with prayer. I'm a practicing Sunni Muslim. I'm also a studio operations manager and I own a marketing company. Shoot straight down. Over the course of time, I've had a couple people come up to me about joining. I have now two other young men that work with me. We're going straight and we're gonna shoot up Crown. I used to see Sabir riding around town and I contacted him and begged him to let me join. Stay vigilant, if you gotta do a chase without me, do it. Sometimes I tell people that I'm a superhero. I grew up with my father being a police officer. He reminds me a lot of me before I became a cop. I had this kind of fearless approach to society and it was, I'm here to restore society and I really don't care who you are. I have lobbied him to be a police officer. So now what are you gonna do? And why not the police department? I have had issues with police officers in the past. I've been pulled over about 300 times because of the fact that I'm black and a cyclist. I can make more money not being in the police department. Especially well, we can get you in a different department. We can get you in a department that pays well. Mm -hmm. Good. You don't have to have a badge or a superpower to pull somebody over who's not abiding by the traffic laws. America needs uh, uh, leaders, right, that have perspectives on being black, white, Hispanic, Latino, and that's the kind of kid I think that we put out here. This sort of allows me to address the appropriate evils and negative situations in the world. Go with that. Have a good night. You're that guy. Yeah, I'm that guy. I don't know. It's really cool. Nice. What you do? Nice. My dream is to have a chapter of the mass maniacs in every town in the United States. What's going on? Bring America back to that honest citizenship that we should have had a long time ago. Actually, you guys are doing a good job because, you know, every time you know, I come this way, uh -huh. the same thing over here. I'm trying to get to know why you're doing what you're doing, get you to understand where I'm coming from. If a light is green and the speed limit is 20, don't go 50. Because after you hit somebody, you can't understand where they're coming from if, if, if they're dead.